At about 9, 10 a.m. this morning, uh, a number of Warren police officers were in this area on an unrelated situation. Uh, two of the officers observed an eight-year-old victim clinging to a live wire. They immediately exited their vehicle, immediately pulled the eight-year-old off the live wire and also the 10-year-old brother. They immediately jumped into their vehicles with the victims, took them down to St. John Main Hospital. The eight-year-old was then conveyed to Children's Hospital where he's listed in critical condition. The 10-year-old brother seems to be fine. Uh, two officers were conveyed to Ascension Hospital from the Warren Police Department. Uh, they were checked out and uh, they seem to be fine at this time. It's, it's just a, a, a very, very difficult situation that we're dealing with here this morning. Uh, we know we had the storm last night. There was a 14-year-old already who was a victim of execution. Uh, the eight-year-old uh, was executed with a 4800 live wire and as I said was pulled off that wire by two Warren police officers immediately and then conveyed to the hospital. So it's a, it's a tragic situation. Uh, we're praying and praying for the uh, eight-year-old victim at this time. Have you been able to make contact? Pardon me? With, have you made contact with the parents? Yeah, the, uh, the mother uh, of the uh, eight and ten-year-old uh, is at uh, St. John Maross. Uh, the 10 year old is still at St. John Maross. The 8 year old, as I indicated, has been conveyed to Children's Hospital in Detroit. Did they think, were they headed to school? We saw a backpack over there. Did they think school was open? Well, school was closed, we know. I believe it was the uh, grandmother that actually brought the two boys to school, then left. So I think they were just, quite frankly, wandering around. Uh, trying to get a hold of the grandmother to come back to uh, pick them up. They didn't know school was closed. That's correct. When the officers were able to get them off the wire, did they themselves get shocked because it was holding the wire? They did. They did. And that's why they have been checked out at Ascension Hospital here uh, in Macomb County. Commissioner, did your officers, I know you were at the hospital trying to talk to them, I can't even imagine what that was like to drive by and to see a kid hanging there. I mean, how are your officers holding up after seeing that and then reacting? Well, quite, first of all, they're heroes. There's no question about it. I mean, their quick action hopefully saved his life. I mean, they immediately jumped out of their vehicle, immediately pulled the eight-year-old off, along with his brother, off the live wire, and they were shocked at the same time. They didn't wait for anything. They jumped in their cars, put the two victims in the car, immediately took them to a Detroit, Maine, Maras Hospital. And then from there, as I said, the eight-year-old was conveyed to the Children's Hospital. The 10-year-old also trying to get him off the line at that point? That's correct. The, uh, the older brother was trying to assist his younger brother, trying to get him off the live wire. So it was the 10-year-old along with the two officers that were all three, quite frankly, trying to save the life of the 8-year-old. Can you talk about the injuries? I, I know we've heard severe burns, but what can you tell us about the 8-year-old at this point? I, I can only tell you there were severe burns. And, and the burns even left marks on, on the pavement. And I'll just leave it at that. Do parents need to caution their children more, not just about a line on the ground, but a line that could be dangling, you know, several feet off the ground? Well, I, I think they do that routinely. I think the schools do the same thing. I mean, we're educated from, the, you know, from early age to, you know, be cautious after a storm of live wires, I mean. Uh, it was a, a tragedy with the 14-year-old that thought it was a branch and picked up the live wire, and she was executed. Uh, uh, I just want to go back to the officers one more time. How would you even describe that? I mean, you've been in law enforcement a long time. To have officers just be in, really fit the definition of in the right place at the right time, just incredible. Well, you know, uh, again, you, you've got dedicated professional officers throughout this country. And we have them here in Warren. And this is a perfect example of two officers that jumped immediately to assist a person and to save a life. I mean, and they didn't stop there. They didn't wait for EMS. They didn't wait for anybody. They immediately put that eight-year-old in their car and immediately, with lights and siren going, uh, took that eight-year-old along with the 10-year-old brother to Detroit Maras. And uh, I, I just I applaud the officers, and, but, but that's what they do. Uh, and I respect that and uh, that's why I'm very upset sometimes when you hear about people that are out there not supporting the men and women in blue.
because they're out here 24 7 risking their lives and and this morning those two warrant officers they did risk their lives to save that eight-year-old and I hope the public understands that that this is a very difficult job and it's more difficult today than it's ever been before and I've been around as you know for many many decades Yeah, the, the other one uh, was there. He was checked out, uh, and but wasn't conveyed. It, there was only two conveyed, and that was the two brothers, the 8-year-old and the 10-year-old. Thanks, Commissioner. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I just had a follow-up. Did the grandma drop them off? They don't live right in this immediate neighborhood then? Or? I'm not sure where they live, to be honest with you. I do know we're working with DTE now. We're going to take uh, part of the wire into the uh, Warren Police Department. Okay. Thank you very much.